What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty Have Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. We are back with episode 79, I do believe, if I am not mistaken. I think it's been a little over a month since the last episode, so I am excited to finally get back in the lab, get back on the surgery table with Dr. Whitekiss in here, and to uh, get some fix-ups and customs done, man. Been a little bit. Definitely been a little bit. I feel like Mattel and Jazzwares have been coming at us with a ton of figures, but they haven't needed any fixing up. They haven't needed anything added to them or adjusted so I honestly had to dig into my bag a little bit think outside the box a little and try to think of some different stuff man but today we're back with action figure surgery if you guys don't know what action figure surgery is just shut the hell up and find out how about that on a serious note though man let's dive into it starting out first we always start off first with the figure that is on the stretcher right here which is going to be this Kane figure this is the Legends Kane the Target exclusive Kane right here we got some big plans for the big red machine here today man should be pretty fun but it's not going to be a ton but I do want to make sort of a 2003 fix up. If you guys know Kane, you guys know that he did remove the mask and he was rocking the bald look with this exact look as far as torso, legs, all you know, the whole get up here. But he did rock the bald look here. So I'm going to go with the crazy smile here and I'm going to put this onto this Legends figure to give us a different Kane look. So that, that's the first thing we're going to be doing here on action figure surgery. But we do have plenty more to get into here. Outside of that, if you guys watched our AEW Unrivaled 11 review of Chris Jericho, which I don't believe a lot of you did. So I I appreciate that. Probably one of the lowest viewed videos that I've had on this channel in probably three years. It 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 is doing atrocious. So, I'd appreciate it if you guys go went and checked out that review. Nonetheless, if you guys watched that video, you would know that the feet are god-awful. They're absolutely god- Look how loose this is. Un just unfathomably god-awful egregious. Well, luckily I had some spare Chris Jericho boots. I'm going to- These are not the same foot mold. They're not the same foot mold. They look alike, but they're not the same- I'm going to take these regular Chris Jericho boots that I found in my fodder bin, and we're going to switch the feet on here to see if that will fix his standing problem. And if you guys have this Unrivaled 11 Jericho, maybe you can fix your own with a pair of spare Chris Jericho boots. We'll see about that, but that's what we got to do. We got to do that. We got to get into that. That is something that we're going to do. Another fix-up that I have personally been wanting to do for a while is the fix-up Walter or Gunter, whatever you want to call him here. I have this extra Legends Mark Callis or Undertaker, old school Undertaker before he was Undertaker figure. I'm going to show you how to make an updated fit. Walter, you know, used to be pretty chubby, but he came back and he put work in in the gym and he came back a much more fit man. So I'm going to show you guys how to combine these two figures together to get a much more fit Walter or Gunter figure. And it's not going to be completely accurate. I'll show you, showcase that, but it is a great start to it and we'll get into that. But that is another fix up I'd like to do. We also have a sort of a triangular trade right here between these Alexa Bliss figures. We have the brand new Elite 97. We we have the Ultimate Edition. This is my second or third Ultimate Edition of this Alexa Bliss, but we're going to take all three of these, and we're going to do sort of a triangular head swap right here. I'm going to be taking this head sculpt from the Ultimate Edition, putting it on the Elite 53. I think that's what this is that's been this way for a while. I'm going to put this head over here onto this figure. This head is going to go onto the Ultimate Edition, and then we're going to put the variant head sculpt that came with the Ultimate Edition on the Elite 97, and then we will be putting, after we put the, you know, the Elite 97 on the Ultimate Ultimate Edition. We will be taking the, uh, you know, the, the fix-up clothes that come with the Ultimate Edition, putting that on there to kind of give us three different looks there. I think that'll be a nice little triangle trade there between all three Bliss figures. Should be easy enough. These hands right here are going to go on the Walter fix-up, so that's all these are. You know, nothing to pay attention to. The Mean Mark Callus has gloves on. We don't want the gloves. We're going to get rid of those. The next two figures, we do have my custom Punisher Seth Rollins figure that we did forever ago, made by yours truly. Going to be popping the hands out and just putting Putting these skeleton hands from the the new greatest hits Rey Mysterio just because I kind of want to see what it looks like I feel like that'll be sort of fire so I, I wanted to play with that play with some fire today do that fix up should be easy money and then another fix up I want to do is between this MJF and this Daniel Bryan showing you how to fix your Daniel Bryan figure because the torso is massive and it makes him way too tall as you guys can see here this Daniel Bryan figure is massive for no reason he's only 5'10 they made him 6'12 I don't know what they're doing but nonetheless let's shut the hell up get into the surgery we're going to do today and uh, throw it over to Dr. Whitekiss in the lab. All right, guys, so our first bit of business should probably be the things that don't require any heat. I, I don't really know what all that is, though, today, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to start things off with the Punisher Rollins because I feel like this should be the easiest thing, maybe outside the Daniel Bryan fix-up. But don't you think these skeleton hands will look good on here? I, I don't know. Let's just attempt it here. Again, made this way back in the day. Pretty sure these hands are interchangeable, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they are interchangeable there, so we'll pop that out. I am going to leave the gauntlets on the Rey Mysterio 
just because I like the SR on the wrist tape right here for Seth Rollins. So I'm going to pop these in here, and then we're going to come back and look at this at the end. I'm not going to sit here and examine it now. You guys know that we do the full reveal at the end, so we will get into that at the end. But, you know, uh, that that's it. Rollins is done. As soon as I pop that in there, we'll look at that at the end. But that should be easy. Now Rey Mysterio can go back here. It doesn't really matter. I have plenty of replacement hands for him, so he can just chill on back there. Next up, we have the MJF here. Now, if you guys were trying to figure out what we're doing here, we're literally just popping these torsos off and popping this on here, and then we're going to pop the left hand out and then replace the left hand with the Daniel Bryan left hand, or the Bryan Danielson, excuse me. Of course, he will have the tattoo on the arm, but you can easily ask it on... <coughs> kind of choked on air there but all you have to do is acetone the lion tattoo of mjf off of there and it should be easy but we'll take a closer look at this at the end as well i know he has a tattoo it's not the biggest deal but i do believe this is the way you fix it i got this idea from my boy cody steinsenberg customs we'll put him over there and we'll look at him at the end and i guess if you want to you can just put the daniel bryan torso on here and then put the mjf head onto this torso just to you know just for shishes and gigs you know you can get into that if you'd like but god christ in heaven i have a hoodie and sweats on and I'm sweating my ass off. I'm burning alive in this room right now with all these lights. I'm very tired. Worked all day. Here I am. Can't get the god dang head on here. I'm over it. Ah, there you go. There's a there's an option. Who who cares? Next. All right, so I do believe the rest of the stuff's gonna require some heat. All right, I know the Alexa Blisses won't require heat. I know this one will, so we're just gonna put her there. These just pop off. So this Alexa Bliss hit. Well, th these two Alexa Bl Bliss, I keep wanting to say Alexa Bliss. Ale Alexa Bliss heads can go over there. We can heat this one up by itself. Same goes for the Mean Mark Callus. This head's just removable, so we'll do that. I'll go ahead and remove his hands as well. And if you're following along at home, you do want to remove any cloth goods. I literally had I had this fix up in my brain for a long time now, so that's why he's fresh out of the package. I legitimately just opened this. I like I, I have had this on ice for uh, a minute, so I am going to go ahead and, and you know get the clothes off the figure here. Should be relatively simple. You know, I already have one of these. I don't need another Mean Mark Callus like this. So I genuinely got this for $5, I think, at Target. They had a mega clearance. Seems like every figure right now is at Target is on clearance. So if you want to go cash in on that, go cash in your Money in the Bank contract. I'm also going to remove the elbow pad right here. And then we are going to get Walter's figure over here, the ringside exclusive. Now, he is going to have white wrist tape and the arms are going to be kind of big, but not going to bother me that bad, you know? what I mean? I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I know it looks a bit weird, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. That is what we're going to do there. We're also going to take Walter here, and we are going to remove his uh, his entrance row. Get that the hell out of the way. If you didn't know, this Walter figure is also on ball joints, so we are going to stack these two on top of each other, trying to get into the crotch piece right there. They're both on ball joints, so all we're going to do is get a leg swap in there, and then we also need to heat up the Alexa Bliss head sculpt. At the same time, we also need to heat up our cane head sculpt that's going on our Legends Elite, and we also need to heat up the feet on this Jericho. Now, I'm just going to throw these in here like this, and hopefully to God, we can heat all of this up at the same time, and then... Once everything's heated up together, we should be able to do like a marathon sprint where we get everything switched before everything cools off and then I want to sacrifice myself to the gods. Now, I have the trusty white hair dryer in here. We're going to heat all this up. Hopefully, we don't run into any issues. Uh, I mean, good Lord in heaven, man. Hopefully, this will go over smoothly. And if not, I'm going to yell a lot. Let's hit it. All right, Brad, we'll find out if this was successful. My fingers are not properly trained anymore because I've taken such a long break. Good God in heaven, man. It's not starting off great with the Jericho right here, but we're going to remove these feet. What a God awful... Like, these feet suck, man. Let's see if we can get these off. These aren't wanting to even come off, man. Good God in heaven. I'm about to beat the brakes off of myself. These are different than Mattel. They have, like, a little plug-in spot. So, oh, my God in heaven. These are already giving me the fits i'm about to i'm about to just fight everyone doesn't help that i'm clinically exhausted uh here's the cane figure gonna pop this head off it is easily removable because uh the new figures don't require heat so that's just a, just a great blessing this cane head didn't get nothing 
but there we go plop that on there we'll look at that in just a moment we'll put that with the rest of the class over here off to the edge next up did alexa bliss's head get heated up a freaking course not what the hell was this setting on it was on hot i don't believe it Oh, hell no. Oh, God. Well, that just... <sighs> Alright, well, at least, at least something worked. At least something worked. Good God in heaven. That was terrifying, but I think we did get it. Now, did this get heated up enough? Okay, got the leg off. Can we get the other leg off? Yes, we can. Now we can. Just merci mercifully, can we get this leg plopped on here? Got that. Now going over here to this side. None of this is heated up. I heated this up plenty of time, man. There's no damn reason at all that that shouldn't have heated all that up. However, we do have our baseline here. I'm going to attempt to get this Walter head onto this torso. Very nice pop right there. Now I'll plop the hands in there, and you guys can see him at the end, but we did get that done. Now, what we have to do is, uh, oh my god in heaven, man. I'm sweating profusely. I feel like I have just, I, I don't even know, like I am profusely sweating. This Alexa Bliss head almost snapped in half, so I have to heat that up. These Jericho boots didn't do a god dang thing, so we're gonna have to heat that up. Is that it? I think that is it. But we do have to heat these two things up. I don't know why it didn't heat up in the first place. For the love of all things that are holy, please, God, can I get this head sculpt off without snapping the neck. I'm not even going to do it on camera. F! 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 All things that are holy. Christ. You know what? I might can, I might can still salvage it. You know what? I might can still do it. I might be able to do it. We'll see how that all goes, but uh, let's plop in these Jericho feet now. Got that. I mean, the Jericho feet can't be any worse. You know what I mean? So, like, even if this isn't perfect, it should still be better than what it was. So, that'll be a whole thing. I don't know why they didn't just use Jericho feet to begin with, but we will see how that plays out in the final part of the video. But I think I can still salvage this. Uh, I have some pliers. I can actually pull that out and then see if I can stick that back in there and then put a head sculpt on there and it should reseal it if I can do it in time. All right, here's the pliers. Uh, gonna get right here and just finagle this out. Jesus Christ in heaven above. Ah! All right, I did get it. Now, what we're gonna do is plop this somehow. We're gonna try and get this down in here. I don't even know if that's gonna work, but you know what? Let's attach it to a head sculpt. All right, like that, and then maybe I can, like, shove this down in here. Good Christ on a bike, man. Can't have nothing nice. Jesus in heaven, Lord above mighty God. Holy mother of God on earth and in heaven at the exact same time. I've, uh, I've given up. You see how fire it would be, but I couldn't do it. So we're going to move the hell on, Brad. All right, this one is going with this one. This is going on here. You see all we were trying to do? And then this is going to have this on it. Cool. We'll look at that at the end. Uh, you know what? We'll look at everything because it's the end now. We're finished. I got to... I'm about to... Just forget it. F! All right, man, so here's everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Decent success, except for that one Alexa Bliss. But... I still think it was pretty successful. Here is the Seth Rollins figure. I think it turned out pretty okay. I think that it got the job done. The skeleton hands, you know, like the Punisher, it doesn't really mix with the skeleton hands. I just thought it would make for a pretty cool look, especially with the skull, skeleton hands, you know, the whole Punisher look there. Like, Punisher's not running around with skeleton gloves. It's just, it, you know, it just kind of adds to it. I like the SRs on the, you know, the wrist gauntlets and everything like that. I think it's a pretty cool fix-up. I don't know if I'll leave it like that. It's just something I wanted to attempt today and just see what you guys think. So, there you go. Here is the Brian Danielson. This is a hundred times better than the way that Jazzwares did it. The, it makes him way too big on that other torso. It makes him way too tall. Here's the MJF with the Daniel Bryan torso, or the Brian Danielson 
this looks a lot more accurate i think i think this is a lot more swingable i don't think you'll you'll have any you know issues with that pick up an extra mjf acetone off the tattoo i think this is a beautiful way to get the brian danielson to look accurate walter looks massive right here i don't think walter's supposed to be this tall and his arms are a bit too ripped however i think it does make for a good fit walter like the legs look good the torso looks good the head looks good i just think the arms are probably a bit too ripped i think walter's like six four or something and this easily i don't know i mean i guess Yes, Kane's like seven feet tall, and he's probably like three. Yeah, I mean, he's still probably a little too tall, but I guess you could swing it. I think if he had skinnier arms, it would look a lot better, but it still gets the job done, I think. And I can't remember where I saw that fix up, but this looks really, really clean. I like it, so I'm going to leave it like that. I don't really give an F. Next up is Kane. I know the true effects head's not there, so it looks a bit goofy. He wasn't really smiling around this time. He didn't smile till later, to be honest with you, but for an 03 Kane, I still like it. It's got all the articulation and the look of the, the Kane from from that time and he is bald here so it is a different take i have like four of the legends cane so i wanted to change it up a little bit and that's what we did here with this legends elite cane and uh we put the bald head sculpt on there from 03 here are our two alexa bliss that didn't fail this one looks pretty good it's kind of a different take i don't think i've seen anybody do this fix up before or do that head swap so that that bliss looks good but this is the main one right here i think with all the dark clothes with the eye makeup added extra i think this makes for a really nice little you know look here i think this makes for a really clean look you got the dark makeup in there. You got the pink. It ties into everything. I think this is this is nice. I think this actually looks better than the regular Ultimate Edition. I think that makes for a nice fix-up. So, now, knocked it out of the park with that one. And last but not least, we did fix Jericho's feet. My hypothesis was correct, and his feet are no longer loose. He can actually stand up. You guys remember how it looked before. Look at it now. It's not loose at all. It gets the job done. You actually have some articulation here, and uh, yeah, it, it totally worked. Everything that we thought would happen actually came to fruition besides the Alexa Bliss that snapped her neck hate to see it but that is going to wrap up all of action figure surgery for today man hope you guys did enjoy been a minute since we've had surgery so hopefully you guys do enjoy it however before we get out of here man we do have to get into our random shout out today's shout out is going to go to my man fabian marshall shirt always had me suspect i like to figure but i legit bought this just to have the larry hoodie for my walmart exclusive punk i'm giving the aew hoodie to brian danielson until they release a blackpool one and the legs from this are going with adam cole for a promo cole with aew pwr lucha just shipped me the best adam cole jacket thanks for the recommendation and absolutely man he makes great cloth goods and i had to give him a shout out right there and uh i think everything you said right there is some pretty good ideas just be wearful of the staining that could happen on your figures man that's all i can really say but that is going to wrap it up thank you to fabian for the comment man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below feels good to be back on the surgery table here getting things done even though we may have had one casualty in alexa bliss sometimes uh you know you got to get things done there but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel have a blessed day and i'll see you guys next time you cross